Welcome to Green Valley Baptist Church Christmas Eve service. We're having a, a great time through this Christmas season with our drive through nativity scene, and people have been coming on our campus, so it's been a great time. Tonight, we are going to share with you some great Christmas music. We're going to have some uh, Advent readings as well, too, and this is going to be a very special time we can share together on this Christmas Eve. Will you join me in prayer as we begin this evening? Our Father, thank you so much for this season that we have an opportunity to celebrate the birth of Christ. I pray, Father, as we share the, the songs of this season, Father, the thoughts of uh, Advent, that the Christmas story will come through loud and clear as we celebrate the birth of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you all this evening. Join us as we sing joy to the world, to our King, to our Lord, the one who came to take away our sin. Christmas tree. 
This evening we come to the first reading of the Advent. It's on hope. You know, if there was ever a year that we needed Advent, it's certainly this year. We hardly know how to describe the year that we've lived through. We hesitate to reflect on the whole mess of 2020. Because, you know, and all we know is that nothing seems right. Nothing seems like it used to be. Nothing. We need Advent. The prophet Isaiah cried out for us, Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down to make your name known so that nations might tremble at your presence. So tear through this mess, O oh Lord, and come down to us again. We long to be your people, a people of hope. We light this first candle as a sign of our hope. Hope that you can meet us even in the mess of this world. Hope that you will still see us, though we feel very lost in the rubble. Let this light be the guide that brings us Emmanuel once more. This song calls us to adore the Lord God, but it calls those who are faithful, those who have said yes to Jesus. And so let's join together, those of us who know him. And if you don't, what a wonderful thing to come to, the place where you too can join us in adoring the King of Kings.
Jesus. Who with the good news that Christ is born, carry the story of hope and grace to every nation in the world. He says to go, tell it on the mountain. Let me share with you a few thoughts about peace this evening. We live on the brink every day. We stand on the threshold between this world and the next one. We live and move between the ordinary and divine, between the mundane and the mystery. Too often we forget to look up and see the angels in our living room. We forget that the love we give and live is a sign of eternity. God with us right now. Luke tells us that God's favor came to a girl, an ordinary girl. It might have been you or your daughter. It might have been the girl down the street or your granddaughter. But the messenger of God came and greeted her and said, the Lord is with you. What a gift and what a promise. Emmanuel. God is with us. We light these candles with peace in our hearts for the promise of proximity, the nearness of God. Even when we forget to listen, to lean into that presence, God is as close as our breath. This is in a confused and confusing world. Peace is possible that passes all understanding.
come now to the candle of joy. We want everything to look nice, the decorations of the season, our homes with lights and tinsel, wreaths and ribbons. We want to lighten the darkness around us, to bring beauty to the ugliness that wears us down. We decorate because it's tradition, because it lifts our hearts, because it makes us to feel like children again. The prophet Isaiah smiled when he said, God will give a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. No matter how far we feel from the spirit of the season, God promises to decorate us with love and with joy. We light the joy candle as a sign of our joy in the beautiful things of this season. Not just the things that glitter and flash, but the deeper things, the beauty of the heart and the soul, the beauty of love shared in service and hospitality. Angels, we Thank you. 
The love candle. Our lists are long, especially in this strange mess where we live these days. We want to be happy, to feel love around us, to be able to enjoy the season. We look for ways to be together, to feel a part of something. We feel a strong need to be connected. This season also makes clear the parts of our lives that need some work, to put right what has gone wrong, to heal what is broken, to mend the relationships. We want, we need to be loved. The prophet Isaiah reminded us that God wants a loving relationship with us. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. When God comes in, then healing, peace, and love can be found. But we need to make the way. We need to open the door into our lives. This speaks to the eternal nature of God's love for us. It is more permanent than the mountains and the hills, the Lord says. What an encouragement this must have been to those faithful to him during Isaiah's time. And what an encouragement it is to us today. Chaos surrounded them as they witnessed God's wrath upon their city. But God assures them that the most permanent thing, more permanent than anything in the world, is his love for us. So we light this candle as a sign of the love that God has for us, knowing it is never wavering, always accessible to those who desire a relationship with him. As we come to the Christ candle this evening, it's our Christmas affirmation. Advent hope moves us. Advent love leads us. Advent joy stirs us. Advent peace steals us that we might affirm King Jesus. It's time we set a flame to this Advent affirmation by lighting the Christ candle. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem of Judea. He was the long-awaited Messiah whose coming was prophesied. The same Jesus lives today in our hearts. 
He deserves our highest loyalty and our total commitment. In Jesus Christ, our hope is fulfilled. Our love is consummated. Our joy is complete. And our peace is sealed. Rejoice! A Savior is born. A Savior is born indeed. Joy to the world. Christ the baby is 
us as we sing. COVID-19 has scattered us. Neighborhoods can't get together. Families are separated. Church services are church family. We struggle. But it's not the first time God has allowed the people to be scattered. In the book of Acts, God's people were scattered due to persecution. Now, we have been scattered by an unseen enemy one that's taken friends, family members, and loved ones. But it's not all bad. Being scattered during this time of uncertainty gives us time to pray, share the gospel, show hospitality, lead worship in our homes, live with hope, and rest. We find in Acts chapter 8, verse 4. Therefore, those who had been scattered went about 
preaching the Word. We can share the gospel. We can still do that. We can still share His love. And so tonight, whether you sit with a loved one nearby or sit in solitary worship, this Christmas we celebrate the birth and the life of Christ while apart, and yet we are still together. Merry Christmas, everyone, and may God bless you and your families.